Hi, it's Laura and I am doing another video on what sold during my whatnot show. So I'm just doing my shipping after my show and I figured I would talk to you about what I sold and for how much during that show. So um, today's show I sold a total of 25 items and I made $287 before fees and before cost of goods. Um, my cost of goods for a lot of it is, is usually low um, and I always price each individual item so that I am not losing any money when I do this, obviously. Um, the average, again, before fees and cost of goods is I think was like $11.85 per item. Obviously some have a higher profit margin than others. Y'all know how this works, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start shipping. So what I'm doing is Whatnot gives you a list of everybody who bought something from you and then you click on the order and it will show you the items that are included in the order. So that's just what I'm doing right now. I put everything together and then I print the shipping after I'm all done. Um, so when I do my shows, I stick everything on a little numbered tag. That's really for me because otherwise I will not have any idea about anything. I have to preload things into my shows so that I remember what the measurements are and the flaws and all that stuff. Also, you like how I just did that? I immediately started not talking to you about the item that I am folding. This is a little shirt that I sold. Um, this sold for, oh, I feel like they changed this whole thing up. Let's see. Did they, they don't want to tell me. Oh, this is annoying. So what not changed their seller dashboard so, man, this is gonna be dumb. Okay, um, so this sold for $10. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but it would have been under $5. I don't know if this is legitimately vintage because the tag, whoop, come on, whatever. It looked a little modern to me, but this whole thing definitely has a very 90s vibe to it. So, um, there we go, that sold for 10. And this person bought two items. Whatnot does um, combine their shipping for you. So when you purchase one item, they have like whatever the shipping rate for that is. And then as you purchase additional items, the shipping is going to be lower cost or free up to a certain point. I think that they are similar to like Poshmark and maybe Mercari and that it's like up to five pounds is, I want to say 767, but that may have bumped up a little bit. It's still under $8 right now. Um, so let's see. The second thing going in this order is number 55. So this is an interesting, I got this item for free. It's like a shawl or maybe a, a like a wrap kind of skirt. It's handmade. It came from the attic haul if you've been watching any of those videos. Um, so anyway, it's cute. I sold this very inexpensively. Literally, it might have been like three. Yeah, three dollars. So I got it for free. I don't really know what's happening with this. So, so if somebody is able to use this, I think she said she wants to use it as a sarong, which I think would be adorable. Um, so, you know, she'll figure out how she wants to close that up. So total these two little items going together for $13. Um, my whatnot shows, as I discussed in my last video, I'm not, I'm not making giant bank on any of these items, generally speaking. Um, I am, feel like I'm still building a good following. I consistently have shows that generate between usually between 250 and 300 bucks before fees. Um, so at the very least, I'm typically at least doubling my money. If I spend 85 to 100 bucks on product, I'm getting like after fees, like 200, $250. Um, so, you know, it's working out for me as far as that's concerned. It's nice quick profit. It's easy because you're just taking one or two photos of an item. I throw in measurements for my own sake. Um, but I'm not modeling, I'm not writing entire descriptions. I enjoy the live selling aspect and whatnot, so it's fun for me that way. So let's see, let's move on to my next, what, this is a very interesting little situation here. 
I don't like the way that Whatnot has changed their seller dashboard. It makes it really difficult for me to see what's going on for some of this stuff. So the next thing I sold uh, is this nightgown. It's just like an 80s Olga nightgown. Um, I feel like this sold for 10. I don't want to put you through the torture of me looking that up for you. And I think I paid like $3 for this initially. So um, this is a person who has purchased from me previously that that prior order that I just wrote, wrote, packaged. That was uh, somebody who was buying from me for the first time. Um, I've definitely seen her on Whatnot before. It's fun if you go into other Whatnot shows, like at least in the categories that I sell and buy in, I'm seeing a lot of the same people in a lot of shows. And so there's this like community sense that gets built up. This folding job was complete trash. I try to make it look like attractive and I did a terrible job. So let's try that again. I like using these little clear poly mailer bags, obviously to protect the item, but also if you fold it nicely and then you put it in the bag, it looks nice and professional. So people feel like I do a nice job packaging things and it really just, it just displays nicely. Um, so let's see, try this again, Laura. There we go. Yeah, it's all right, it'll do. It'll get there. Let's see. All right, so. And then the other thing is if I go, you know, well, I can go. Um, when I, I go sourcing for this stuff and obviously I don't sell everything in every show. So a lot of times also I am stocking up for a whatnot show, but ultimately I am also um, providing myself with inventory to list on Etsy, eBay, etc. The past few shows I've been doing, I've had a lot of inventory that I got for free from that attic clear out. Y'all know this already. I cannot get this thing off. There we go. The peel off. Oop, stop it. Okay, what am I doing? Nothing wants to behave right now. There we go. Okay. I didn't do a great job with that. I mean, it's okay. Right? Where's my garbage can? I don't even know. I don't know where anything is. I don't know why I started recording a video when I'm so unprepared. There we go. Um, and also I have to blow my nose because apparently it's allergy season. I don't know. Y'all get all of it because, you know, I don't edit videos. Okay. What is next? We've got, we did that one. Oh, Pizzy. So. I don't like to call out people's purchases. I'm not going to say who this is. Anyway, somebody purchased this skirt from me. This is really cute because it's like this red Lorex, very stretchy bodycon. And um, the person who purchased it is a very regular whatnotter. I see her. She's purchased from me before. I see her in tons of other shows. She's just super helpful in the community. She does a lot of moderating of other people's shows. Um, she's fantastic. I don't typically use moderators. And it started off for me as a, like, I don't want to be a bother to anybody type of thing. And then it kind of turned it, like, I honestly don't generally need one. My shows aren't big enough to require a moderator. But like now I'm at the point where it's like, unless I actually know you personally, I don't want to ask you to moderate for me. I'm sure she would absolutely do. She does it for everyone. But, you know, sometimes you don't want to have to do all that garbage. And so I would not want to like be like, hey, can you do this? And then she's like, says yes, even though she really wants to say no. That's always what's going on in my head, right? It's like, they're not gonna wanna do this, don't ask them. Okay, um, here we go. I've got another order from a new customer for me, new to me. I'm gonna put these here. And this is a dress that sold for $15. Um, really cute little mod style. It's a polyester and wool blend. I love this. I'll show you the tag, because that's always fun. It's kind of like a haul, but it's not a haul video, you know. It's a, it's like a we already sold it haul. Um, all right, and so this I sold it for fifteen bucks. I think that this was under five. Eh, this might have been like seven or eight bucks, but I feel like it was under five, and that I priced it at fifteen because I love it. Um, so I got this a little while ago. I very frequently am. Um, 
stocking my whatnot show like the day before the show. I go out and source and have to get everything loaded up the day before, but this time I was trying to do things a little bit more in advance. So this was put up on site like a week ago. Um, so I don't remember what the, what the price was, but sold for 15, which is nice. Um, let's see. The other thing I don't know, like Whatnot doesn't show me what items got more than one bid on them. Um, sometimes I can tell from the price that it sold for, but you know, and most of my items, as I said in the last video that I did for this, um, most of my items sell for my starting bid. I don't, I don't often get bidding wars on my things. And when I do, it's not, it's not giant, you know, it'll go from 15 to 19, for instance, something like that, but job there um, all right let's see another new to me customer so her order was $15 for both items that she bought and yeah let's see I think this is just like a sheer career blouse this came from that attic haul and it's got a tahari sorry about my manicure y'all little tahari label um, I think I listed this for five bucks so these are not my normal aesthetic, this, you know, solid color career wear type of stuff. Um, so because like if I saw this in a thrift store, I probably would not pick it up and therefore I assume nobody wants it. Obviously I am incorrect. Logically I know I'm incorrect, but that's why I priced it at five bucks. Also it was free. I did not pay for it. I did wash it because <laughs> As you all have seen in the attic videos, I had to wash it, but. So there's that little Tahari blouse, fold that up. And then, oh, I did a janky job with that too. Uh, the second thing she bought was also from the attic. So I also got this for free and this had to be soaked and then, um, you know, regular laundry, but it's cute, cute little tennis dress. I think I did this at $10. So, and then if you wanna see tags, cause why we all want to see tags, right? Top seed, it's cute. So we've got that. So that's not bad, 15 bucks for the price of basically washing both of them. I, I simplify that so much. Like I didn't have to use like 16 tons of OxyClean or Biz or whatever I soaked this thing in to get the stains out, you know. But okay, let's put these in their little Polly Nailer. Get these all put away. I really also enjoy the aspect of like just getting it, you know, running a show and immediately getting everything shipped out. Um, it's fun. I don't know. It feels more productive than pulling shipping when I'm selling stuff on Etsy and eBay and whatnot. So that can go over there. All right, let's see. Next up, another person who purchased one item and it also came from the attic. So once again, I did not pay anything for this. I did wash it, but very basic um, work involved in that. I'm not gonna be able to fold this the way I like to, I don't think, let's see. Skirts don't always wanna fold the way that I want them to when they're a little voluminous, you know? All right, I think we're good. I think we got this under control. Fold, fold. All right, one, that was messy. There we go, okay, there. That's not bad, that looks cute. So when I run my whatnot shows, I'm usually on air, live for about two hours, sometimes a little bit less. Um, I tend to just run through all my items unless somebody requests something in particular. So I have my shop loaded up with items like one through 50. And then um, if somebody says like, can you run number 37? You know, then I do that. But otherwise I just start at number one and go all the way through. Once I've gone through everything um, at least once, I tend to go back and just sort of show people random things um, that I happen to like, just 
you know, people are popping in and out of those shows constantly. So somebody may just be joining five minutes before I plan to end, you know. Um, this is a very cute little 70s semi-sheer polyester blouse. Um, that's the tag, which is adorable. So this one, I feel like I paid around seven or eight dollars for it. Um, I sold it for 20. Part of the reason that I priced it like that was because I love it and I felt like it was worth it. So, um, as I've discussed before, my start pricing for whatnot, A, it definitely comes into play that usually things are going for the starting bid most frequently. So, you know, what am I happy getting? That's basic for any auction that you do, no matter what platform it's on. Um, but also, of course, like, what do I think I could get for it? What's it worth, etc. So even if I had only paid $5 for this dress, um, you know, I feel very comfortable having at least a couple of pieces in my shows that are starting around a little bit higher, around 20 bucks. So I felt like this was worth that price. I mean, I feel like all of it is worth it, but when I'm running an auction that is going to have, you know, between 10 and 15, maybe 20 people at a time seeing that item and potentially wanting that item, it's a pretty small audience of people, especially when you factor in things like, you know, obviously fashion preference and sizing and all of that kind of stuff, you know? So out of those 20 people, how many people are gonna fit in this particular size? It's not like I'm selling, you know, decor. So I will start things a little bit higher if I really am in love with them or feel like they're really, you know, worthy of that start price. Um, anything that I'm putting in my whatnot shows, I would gladly be listing on Etsy, eBay, maybe Depop for more money, you know. Whatnot is the, the fast money for me. Um, okay, so this person ordered four items for a total of $45. So we're gonna see how that is. Hmm. I might be able to, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to do a great job with pricing as far as how much each individual item sold for. But this one, I know that this was very inexpensive for me to get. I think it was like $2. And I think I had it listed for 10. So it's a Bebe, like 90s era sequin tank top. Um, it's very pretty. And it's nice sequins. It's not like the crap sequins where they're, you know, like it's a little more dense and it's not super heavy, but it's a little bit more weighty. So that's nice. All right. It's number six green paisley skirt. This one I also listed at 10. Um, this was free because it was attic call. So I just had to wash it. And I think this one was literally just like wash it at the laundromat. I didn't have to do any crazy soaking or anything. So that was nice. Um, fold this up. Nicely. This would actually look cute together, even though the sequin top is a little bit more club kid, but I think that would be a really fun look. All right, let's see. Oh, there's a thing that I have to fix before I can ship it out today. Um, this 90s hippie skirt. I love this thing. Okay. This, I think I, <laughs> I still have the price tag on this because I forgot to take it off, but it's this crinkle rayon. Um, again, I feel like, let me see. I feel like I sold this one for 10 as well. Uh, yep, this one went for 10. Let me go back and see. And then she paid a total of 45, so something went more than 10. Okay, yeah, the Calvin Klein skirt, which we will get to. Okay, so here we go. This 90s crinkle rayon skirt. I will be able to tell you how much I paid for it. She she bought it for 10. Um, I paid, I don't think it was five. It's got a $5 tag on it, but I think that it was probably um, 250 because if it was $5, I probably would have priced it more like $15. So generally anything that I'm pricing at 10, I'm usually paying more like the two to $3 range. Um, once in a while, I'll still throw something up at five, even if I, um, yeah. That's not what I meant. I still throw things up with very low profit margins sometimes. Like I will throw something up for $5 if I paid like $3 for it every now and then, if I feel like it's not super thrilling. 
um, and I'm trying to stick some good deals in there. But generally speaking, I have pretty routine price margins for certain things. And then this skirt sold for $15. This is an 80s Calvin Klein denim skirt. I just thought it was really pretty. Um, oh, whatever, you can't see the tag too easily, but there it is. Now I gotta move all this stuff out of my way. There she is, okay. A little hair there, get that off. Fold this up all nicely so that it looks like an actual professional person did this. Um, I did not wear this during the show. I dressed like a nice person with a sense of style. <laughs> I dressed like somebody you might actually want to buy clothing from, not like this. Although I love this outfit, honestly, but this is my comfortable, let's do some shipping outfit. Not my let me convince you to give me money outfit. All right, so a slightly larger poly bag here. Let's see if we can get these all in together. Um, I love using the, uh, the priority mail Tyvek envelopes from USPS for a lot of these bigger whatnot orders. Bigger meaning bulk flies, not not dollar amount. So, you know, it's like all. When I ship things for like Etsy or eBay or whatever, if people are purchasing multiple items for me, I usually leave them in their individual poly bags just because I've already got them stored that way after I've listed them. Um, and I feel like, again, I feel like people think it's more professional. I. I sort of wonder sometimes if people get upset with the environmental aspect of it, like they wish that I would just stick everything in one. But the bottom line is that once I've had it stored in a poly mailer for a while, I'm not usually reusing that anyway. So, um, all right, let's see. Which one was that? That was this order. Yes, so, and that was a new customer for me who purchased four items. Um, this person purchased seven items, also new to my sales. This includes one of the items that I have to fix, but I'll show you what it is. So this blouse, which I love, um, I think I paid one or two dollars for this. It was very low and I forget what I sold it for. This person bought a total of seven items from me for $60 total. Um, I have to fix the elastic in the bottom of this. I offered during the show said I could leave it slack and pull the elastic out or I will go through and fix the elastic and like reconnect it so it's got the elasticized waist and they did ask that I fix it so I will do that. Um, I'm gonna hold that off to the side. Ah, trying to organize my stuff here so that I remember to do that but um, what did that sell for? I, I want to say five. I think I had it very low because it was priced so low because I paid such a small amount. Yeah that sold for five. Um, and I love doing stuff like that. It's such a cute blouse. I love being able to have deals like that. And it's also something that obviously is what helps the $20 dresses sell when there's nice deals like that to be had. And it helps somebody buy seven items from me. So this is definitely a quantity game. Oh yeah, and they also bought this camisole. Oops, my hangers are all twisty. Um, I paid I think 50 cents for this and I sold it for three dollars. I originally bought it to um, use as a dye project but I figured I would offer it up and whatnot because why not? It adds another item to my show. I could offer it inexpensively so it was a it was a fun little addition. Um, oh these pants. All right I don't remember what I paid for. Oh I do remember what I paid for these pants. These pants. I love these pants. They're like these 70s knit. Look at that, man. They're amazing. A um, little sort of a flare there. Um, I bought these. They were like a dollar because I thought the thrift store had un mismarked them or like, like put a tag on but didn't update it with a price or that it was part of a two-piece set. So I was afraid they weren't going to sell the, these to me. But then they did. They charged a dollar. So it was like awesome. So... Um, and they sold for 15, I believe is what they went for. 
Let's see. Let's see if I am correct. I know there was at least one thing that got more than one bid today. Um, I'm also very bad at noticing when things are being, you know, bid up during an auction. Um, hold on, let me see what I can do with this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this, is, this is riveting to watch, isn't it? I'm so sorry. All right, yeah, so these sold for $15, and as far as I know, that was the only, um, I don't think they were bid up. I was a little surprised, but they have an elastic waistband that's kind of shot a little bit. So I think the person who purchased these plans on um, taking them in anyway, so it worked out for them. I love those pants, I think they're amazing. All right, let's see. Oh, and then this striped top. Okay, so this top, See, I think I sold it for 10. Um, it's like a 70s slinky, silky, like polyester or nylon. But I got this a very, yeah, I sold it for 10. I got this um, in like mid 2020, right after everything kind of opened back up again. And I hadn't listed it previously because it had a couple of seams that had popped open and I just hadn't gotten around to fixing it. So I finally did that the other day. Um, I found it in my little stash of stuff that needs fixing and I thought, I was like, oh, why is this sitting in here? It just needs one seam repair? That's ridiculous. So I pulled it out and then after I fixed the first seam repair, I kept finding more. And I just fixed them all and was able to stick it in a show. So that sold for 10. I, I mean, I got that, I think I had like three or four Ikea bags full of inventory for like $200. So it was super cheap and I've more than made my money over a bajillion times. So at this point it feels like free inventory to me. Um, let's see. Then they bought this thing, which is going to look silly to you right now, but this is also from that attic and it's just, it's a handmade halter top. So, um, you know, goes on like that, obviously with better tying skills. So I didn't pay anything for it. I just threw it in the wash, um, just threw it in the wash. Like I dug it out of the attic and washed it, whatever. <laughs> this one was a no brainer. So it was very easy. Um, and made out of that same fabric as that weird sarong, but they are not going to the same person, which is fine. I didn't know if I, you know, I sold them separately because I didn't know that somebody would want, you know, the pieces together and I was correct. So there we are. This is hard to fold because it's weird. But there we go. Well, all right, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, this lace jacket. This was fun. Again, don't remember how much I bought this for. I got this a couple of weeks ago and the hem on the inside was not finished. So I had to finish it off. Um, so that sat around for a little while before I could include it in a show, but we finally got that in and it sold for, I want to say 15, but let's see. Yes, $15. I wish I could remember what got multiple bids today, but maybe we just haven't come across it yet. Let me fold this up. <laughs> Sorry about this camera angle today. I feel like it's weird. When I stand up, I feel like I'm almost off camera but most of the time I'm not standing up. So there you are. Okay, what's that? Hmm. Not, not bad, it's decent. That there, and let's see, do I have another item in this order? Yes, one more. Oh, this is so cute too. I, don't, I already don't remember what I paid for this. Um, it's a little 50s like velvet bolero jacket. It clearly seems like it had another piece that it went over, but like, look at the back goes, it's so cute. Uh, and it was cheap, but maybe like three or $4. What did I sell it for? 10, I'm guessing. 19, so this is the one that got bid up. So that's nice. I think I started it at 10 though. So that's some, that's some action for me on whatnot. Going from 10 to 19, like that is, that's some, um, flurry of activity there. So look how 
cute. Oh, it's adorable. Okay. Fold this up. Get her out. Such a cute little jacket. I feel like it went with a, a cocktail dress of some sort, and I wish that I could find, I wish I had found it, but despite all of my searching, I did not find anything that looked like it was supposed to go with that. Right, I'm gonna package this up and put it off to the side so I remember to put that little prairie blouse in it after I fix her up. Get in the bag. And of course my hope is always that, you know, people buy things for me on whatnot and then they visit my Etsy or eBay or whatever shop and buy more things from me there. I don't know if that happens. I have not been made aware of it happening yet, but even if they just come back to my whatnot shows, I'm thrilled. So there's that. All right, let's see. This person bought one item. Um, this was $10 and this was also another attic piece. So I got it for free, just had to wash it. And they paid $10. So, I mean, that's kind of the ideal situation, but I understand that the majority of us are not usually getting inventory for free. But I definitely still enjoy it, even with some of the other profit margins. You know, if you can go and spend $100 today and then tomorrow, you know, sell like $200, $250 after fees, you know, that's not bad. I enjoy that. I definitely also like, you know, obviously selling things for a higher amount, but sometimes that takes me three years. So <laughs> if I can overnight it, that's amazing. All right, these two items are going to another frequent customer. Um, she got this cute little romper, which I hand dyed. It does have all the buttons on there. Um, I hand dyed, I replaced the buttons. This was from um, the another free lot of vintage clothing that I got when my friend's grandmother died. Um, so this came from that. It was originally white, but like a dingy white that I couldn't get clean, so I dyed it. I was keeping it for personal use for a while, but I just wasn't wearing it. It's slightly too short in the torso for me, but you know, tall, so um, it didn't quite work out. But it's so cute, and I'm glad that it's going to someone who's gonna enjoy it. The person who bought this for me is also, a vintage seller, so I don't know if she plans on it for personal or reselling purposes, but I don't care, you know. Um, it's one of those, you know, do what you want. I hope that people aren't like buying them and just like setting things on fire, but I don't think so. Uh, oh, and then the other thing she got from me, oh, how much did I sell it for? It might have been really cheap. I might have done like five. Um, Oh, this sold for 17 so apparently this got bid up as well. I don't remember what I started it at, but that sold for 17 I, I don't think I would have started it for more than $10, um, but who knows. So if, it, if it, it was probably 10 I mean, I suppose I could have started it at 15 but I don't think so. Um, oh, and this. This I love. Double knit polyester. Look at that thing, man. That's amazing. Um, I don't remember what I... Oh, I do remember it. I paid like $3 for this thing. It was great. Um, and it sold for 17 so that also got bid up a little bit. I started it at 15 so I've got a couple bids on it. So that's fun. And I know that's not like, again, not, not massive action. It's like, oh, it got bid up $2 more. It's like, but considering the fact that most of my stuff sells for the start price, if there is any activity, I get super excited, so. And I feel like this type of stuff, like this kitschy, you know, 60s, 70s vibe stuff is kind of what people come to my shop for. Um, I mean, it's not exclusively what I have. I wish I had a lot more of it, but I definitely feel like that stuff does really well for me. So that's nice. Oh. Drinking my coffee before it gets cold. Brr. All right, oh, and I'm on my last shipment. So we're almost done torturing you. Um, I say as you are voluntarily watching this video, but I appreciate that if, if you are watching this. Um, let's see. All right. So this person got this, which is another 
Addict Call, so it was free. Just had to wash it, did not require any kind of stain treatment whatsoever. This is a really adorable set. And I think I started this at 15, um, possibly 10, but I think I went to 15 because it is a very cute set. Let's see. Yeah, $15 on that one. And let's get her all folded up. Get that hanger back. My back is killing me. My back doesn't like it when I stand for long periods of time. And then also the bending is not super fun. I feel like tables and things like that are always so low. Like I'm always crouched at doing dishes, man. It's rough. It's rough being a tall person. All right. Let me see if I can fold this up pretty. Mm -hmm. Come on. Lovely. See how pretty. I'll get that there. And then, oh, this top. This top, I forget what I paid for this, even though I just got it yesterday. I want to say like around $3, maybe $4. Um, yeah, I sold this for $10. So I feel like maybe I paid $4 for it. It's so cute. Just this 70s stretchy tunic kind of top. Really adorable. So. that up and then that is my entire um, sold items from my whatnot show today so it's great I do the show in the morning then I wrap everything up and get it shipped out same day and I've added this nice little element of doing a YouTube video for it so I mean in all honesty it's an easy way to do a YouTube video um, because I'm already look presentable <laughs> And it's something to talk about. And I'm not doing haul videos on these stuff, on these stuffs. I'm not usually doing haul videos on the things included in my whatnot shows because I am frequently getting them literally the day before. So it's a big rush to get home and get my whatnot shows loaded up. So you don't get to see everything. This didn't go in the bag the way I want it to. I'll flip this and do it this way. I'm kind of stuffing in this bag, but it doesn't really justify a larger bag, honestly. So let's see. Um, all right, it's not looking too good. It looks really, looks really nice on this side, and then this side looks a little sad and janky. But that's kind of the best we can do. So that's everything from this show. That was fun. Um, I really enjoy doing them. If you guys don't already come and join my whatnot shows, I would love it if you would. It's a fun time. Um, it can be fun to just look around. One of the things with whatnot is that you do have to like sign up, pretty much, to. Um, I can't remember if you have to sign up to even just watch a show. You definitely obviously have to sign up to bid on things, but it's fun. It's fun to do and uh, it can definitely be addictive or super boring depending on <laughs> how your hyper fixations work. So uh, thank you for watching this and I will be uploading more attic hauls soon as well, but I will see you again soon. Thank you.